on the starting line, waiting for the word to start the engine, the quickest man in the history of the sport, Daryl Gwynn. The Motorcraft Gator Nationals at Gainesville Raceway. Over 700 cars started qualifying four days ago. Now there are two remaining. The finalist in top fuel eliminator, Joe Amato, 42 years of age out of Old Ford, Pennsylvania. He's thinking about that engine. A brand new motor installed in his race car between the semifinals and this round. Will it perform at the same level as the previous engine? The man he is racing, the quickest man in the history of the sport, 25-year-old Daryl Gwynn from Miami, Florida, has not had the engine problems. He has had nothing but success on this racetrack. Amato, on the other hand, has not been doing too badly himself. Consistently in the low 530s, he has top speed of this race at over 276 miles an hour. This is the third consecutive final round appearance for Joe Amato. He lost to Daryl Gwynn at the World Finals. He lost the recently completed Winter Nationals. Now, once again, facing Gwynn in the finals of the Gator National. Both cars are staged. A great start. A tremendous race. At the finish line, it's Joe Amato in the upset of Tom Fuel. Amato wins with his first ever 5.20 elapsed time at 5.29 seconds. Joe Amato defeats Daryl Gwynn. The starting line advantage is obviously Amato's. He does not relinquish it at any point on the racetrack. And as they approach that finish line, 1,320 feet away from the start, by more than a car length, Joe Amato, your champion. That picture tells it all for Daryl Gwynn. For the second time in his career, when he set the new record, he lost the race. All right. Not only did this man slap a hole shot on Daryl Gwynn, he will never forget, but you ran a career best of 529. Steve, once you're in the final, it's anybody's race. The TRW Keystone Automotive Dragster is really, it's hot. You know, we're, we're going to win that six finals in a row and two runners up. Things always happen to me in threes, and that's two. We got one more to go. And you know, I've said this before, but it's tough to make an engine change and run as well. I don't care what anybody says. My crew, Tim Richards, he builds engines like super stock engines. He can, I, all the I was so confident putting the engine in, I just felt good about today. My group guys felt good, and we didn't want to go out and try and run a 525 and beat us. I told him, if you give me five low 30s, today I'd win. And he gave me a 29 for a bonus. And your driving was brilliant. Yeah, it, was, it just felt good. You know, you ever come to a racetrack and you feel hot? Well, today I felt that way. It felt good because it was good. Joe Amato, Motocraft Gator Nationals oh, top fuel champion. Our congratulations to all the Gator Nationals champs. For Steve Evans, I'm Dave McClellan saying so long from Gainesville, Florida.